Hello guys, this is Raven from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 177. Microsoft is announcing that Windows 11 will be released on October 5th. The new operating system will be available as a free upgrade for eligible Windows 10 PCs or on new hardware that ships with Windows 11 preloaded. Realme 8s Flipkart availability has been confirmed. The phone will launch with a MediaTek Dimensity 810 chipset. Realme 8s design and specifications were revealed in July. The Realme 8s price in India will be revealed soon as the company has started teasing the phone's launch in the country. This phone is expected to arrive along with the Realme 8i and Realme 8 pad. Microsoft will hold its next event on September 22nd, where it will show off the latest Surface hardware the event starts at 11am Eastern Time. According to the teaser image, it shows a side-on look at what appears to be a Surface Pro. And Microsoft usually holds a hardware-centric event in the fall. On top of that, the event takes place two weeks before Microsoft releases Windows 11 and what better way to showcase the latest OS than on shiny new hardware. Vivo is gearing up for the launch of latest X70 series of smartphones. We have already covered some notable leaks and official teasers from the company. And but now a new report suggests that upcoming lineup global launch is set for September 10th. Realme recently launched the Realme Book Slim in India. The company entered the laptop category for the first time with its laptop under Rs 50,000 in India. Another category that the company will foray into very soon is tablets. Realme has been teasing a launch of its new tablet. The company recently revealed the design of the Realme Pad as well. The tablet will be launching on September 9th where we can expect more details about its specifications and pricing. PUBG New State pre-registration in India begins for Android and iOS users. The release date in India is yet to be revealed. This game has already crossed over 32 million pre-registration on Android and iOS globally. Crafted had a decent data transfer in place that allowed users to transfer their progress from Facebook Twitter accounts quite easily. However, now due to changes and updates related to the Facebook SDK, Android users will need to download a Facebook application on their phone in order to log in using their Facebook account in BGMI. Deezer was tipped to launch 7 new products in India in September. On the first day on the new month, the Realme TechLife brand has announced 4 new products already. Two of them are audio products which are called as Deezer Go Pods and Deezer Go Pods Neo. The Deezer Go Pods and Deezer Go Pods Neo are rebanked version of Realme AirBuds 2 and Realme Buds Q2. Although they are the exact same products, they are slightly cheaper than the original models for a limited time. And now let's see about the prices. Deezer Go Pods, the retail price is 3000 and 299 while the limited time price is around 2999 which we get a 300 rupees offer the colors we get is smoky gray and creamy white for the deezer go pods neo the retail price is 2499 while the limited time price is 2299 which we get a 200 rupees offer the colors are deep blue and aurora colors the sales will kick start from september 6th and september 10th for deezer go pods and deezer go pods neo and from deezer the other new products in india were called as hair dryer and a beard Trimmer Plus, which are the latest product in their consumer lifestyle electronic range. Talking about the hairdryer first, the hairdryer offers a 19,000 RPM high speed fan which controls for precise speed and heating settings. It has a runtime of 120 minutes in a single full charge. It also offers 55 degrees Celsius thermal protection and 20 million native ions for hair care as well. And arriving with the Beard Trimmer Plus, it is a second lifestyle brand product that features an impressive 40 lens settings with up to 0.5 mm precision setting. Similar to the hair dryer, it also offers 120 minutes of run time on a single charge and it is powered by a 800mAh battery pack. And the trimmer also arrived with an IPX7 water resistance. South Korean tech giant Samsung may be working on its first foldable screen laptop. The tech giant has been bullish to the foldable smartphone category with a Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3 phones. And it looks like it will expand its laptop segment also and the laptop has been rumored to be called as the Samsung Galaxy Book Fold 17 and could come with a 17 inch foldable display. Samsung Galaxy F42 5G has been spotted on Google Play console listing. The Galaxy F42 5G will get a Dimensity 700 chipset, 6GB of RAM and Android 11 OS. It will be launching in India soon. 
Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition User Manual has been leaked online. The box packing will not be including a charging brick in the box and it is expected to launch sometime this month or in October. Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition specifications could include a 6.5-inch display, Snapdragon AAA processor and run on Android 11 OS and it comes with a 4500mAh battery. Samsung has some interesting camera sensors planned for release this year, one of which is a 200 megapixel sensor and Samsung is ready to unveil the camera sensor as early as tomorrow. According to the latest tweet, the 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP1 camera will be announced. According to the latest tweet, the 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP1 camera will be announced. Researchers at Rice University in Houston, Texas, US has found a way to view smart clothing that can monitor your heart. A snug athletic shirt that was created with conductive carbon nanotube fibers that is used to be able to measure your heart rate efficiency and accurately. Researchers state that the nanotube fibers swing into shirt were successfully able to take a continuous electrocardiogram of the wearer. The fibers were turned into spheable threads that in turn functioned as conductive as metal wires. WhatsApp's new user safety report reveals that it had banned over 3 million accounts in 46 days. WhatsApp has banned the accounts from June 16 to July 31st to prevent online abuse and keeping users safe on this platform. WhatsApp maintains a record of accounts that have a high or abnormal rate of messages. Telegram has announced a major update that will remove the cap of a number of viewers that can watch a live stream. This app has also improved the way messages are forwarded between chats along with a feature that suggests trending stickers to users. Telegram will also show if a user is choosing a sticker using the chat, user will also be getting a new animated stickers. Additionally, Telegram has also reportedly ending support for its application on Wear OS as it is no longer available to download from Google Play Store on Wear OS. The instant message the messaging application has released its latest major update, Telegram 8.0, that brings the ability to have an unlimited audiences for a live stream. Hosts can now entertain an endless number of participants when they start a live stream in a channel or a group video call. And the audience also has the ability to raise their hands and can join the broadcast if that host approves. Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro will be unveiled on October 19th. The two phones were made official last month and a Google executive had shown off their design along with teasing some of its specification. According to the leaks, the Google Pixel 6 will have a support for 23 watt wireless charging. Google has completely reworked on the design for the Pixel 6 series and has also decided to go like Apple wrote to use its own processor called Tensor. According to the leaks, the Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro will be up for pre-order on October 19th and will reach customers as well as stores on October 28, while the date for Google's launch event is unclear. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Home Affairs has once again urged the company to block virtual private networks in India. The company cited VPN service as a technology challenge that lead to bypass security walls and allow criminals to remain anonymous online. In this report presented to Rajesh Abha regarding the government action on the previous concerns, the committee again recommended developing a coordination mechanism in collaboration with international agencies to block VPNs permanently. It also asked the Ministry of Home Affairs to strengthen their tracking and surveillance mechanism to put a check on the use of VPN and the dark web. Samsung Galaxy A52s has been officially launched in India. The key specifications include a Snapdragon 778G processor, 64 megapixel quad camera, Android 11 OS, and a 25 watt fast charging support. The price in India starts from Rs 35,999 for the 6GB RAM and a 128GB model, and Rs 37,499 for the 8GB RAM and a 128GB version. The phone will be available across retail stores, the Samsung website, and leading online portals from September 1st. And we can avail a cash back of rupees 3000 through HDFC bank credit cards and debit cards and EMA transaction or avail of an exchange bonus of rupees 3000 upgrading their old phone. And Samsung is also offering no cost EMA, zero down payment and zero processing charges across major banks and MBFC partners. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.